Kurt, congratulations. You've been a pro for 13 seasons and you are back at the Crucible for the second time, the Holy Grail. And what a way to do it. Yeah, I mean, 10-1 probably, uh, I don't know, maybe a little bit flattering. Matt didn't play very well today, struggled quite a bit. But I managed to just pounce on him at the right times. I made a few nice breaks along the way. And uh, obviously when I come out 8-1 tonight, you never know in snooker. All of a sudden it's 8-5 at the interval, I just thought that if you get a chance, you've just got to finish it off as quick as possible. And you must have been aware of the confidence he would have brought into this match as a result of a, a really good win over Alan Taylor, who was potting balls off the lampshades after getting back on tour and knocking in a 1-4-5. Yeah. That was a good win for Matt Selk coming it, into the last was, round of qualifiers. Alan, Alan was in good form, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think he, he won the challenge draw thing or whatever that was to get his tour car yes. back. And uh, yeah, he pumped someone. I think he had two or three centuries and 90 and 80, so he was, yeah, it was a good win for Matt. So I thought, I thought he'd probably play a little bit better today, but uh, that's how snooker goes. Back onto you. Were there a couple of years since 2015 where you thought you might never get to walk out onto that famous crucible carpet for a second time? Or did you, ever, did you never Not doubt really. yourself? I never doubted it, no. I just thought, well, if you put the work in, then, then, then you'll get back there. Uh, and that's, like I said, exactly what I've done these last five or six weeks since the Championship League now. I've played probably more snooker than I have done for a long, long time in these five or six weeks. And, you know, it, it's, it, obviously it paid off this week. I don't really feel like I played that well today either. Uh, so, no, I'm happy with it. I'm happy. And, and looking back, at the match you played against Mark Selby in 2015, you came back from something like 7-3 down and took him all the way to a decider. So you, you've shown already that you're not overawed by the Crucible stage or the opponent who might be sitting in the other chair. No, I, I enjoy that kind of challenge. I really do. I thrive on those sort of moments. Hopefully I, I can produce some of my, my best snooker whenever I play next week or, or whenever it is. And uh, yeah, I enjoy those occasions. I, I really thrive on that. Do you think it'll mean as much the second time as it did more, the first time? More, actually, I think. More this time. I do. I think the first time, you try and take it all in. But the second time, I think I'll appreciate even more this time, especially not being there for so long. And the amount of work I've put in, like I said, over the last, the last five or six weeks, it means something. Will you be watching the draw? Do you care? <laughs> I think everybody has a sneaky peek at the draw, don't they? <laughs> uh, even people that say, no, I don't care who I play. No, I, actually, you don't mind who you play, but uh, I've just got that predicament. I don't know whether to go back to London now or stay in Sheffield. But uh, yeah, I'll be having a look at the draw. 11 o'clock's a bit early, though. <laughs> well, listen, you know, you might get you might get drawn out to play at 10 a.m. So you've got to you've got to be up for the mornings. <laughs> uh, but well done, Kurt. It, it'll it'll that. be fantastic to welcome you down the stairs again at the Crucible for the second time in your career. Many yeah. congratulations. I appreciate it. Cheers, Rob.